Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Catherine. Um, and I will talk to you just briefly about the dual degree programs that are offered through the College of Social Work. Um, I understand you're all hungry, and I mean, just by me walking in, I can imagine we're all hungry. <laughs> Brother, ready to get out of here. So I'll keep it very brief. And, and the reason for that also is that, but also because there's lots of details for the dual degrees. And if you, based on what I tell you here in the next five minutes or so, think that that is something you would like to pursue, please get in touch with me and we'll get out there. Because we have several different dual degree programs. Um, and even if you're not quite sure, if you would just like to find out, then you get in touch with me and we'll get out there. I'll give you all the details. So um, before I get started with that, I do want to mention, I know Dr. Brown talked to me about the certificate programs that, that are offered through the College of Social Work. I'm also the director of the Gerontology Certificate Program, and I don't want to uh, get into that too much, but I do want to also say that if you're perhaps interested in that, get in touch with me as well. Alright, so the College of Social Work, at the university there's really a lot of different dual degree programs that are offered. But there are um, three specifically offered through the College of Social Work in coordination and collaboration with their respective departments and colleges um, for which the dual degrees are in place. And that means that these are formally acknowledged and formally um, approved dual degree programs, meaning that you can, of course, always work on two degrees at the same time. But by these being formally approved, you're actually able to cut down on some of the, the hours that are required for each of these things. Um, the uh, application and admissions requirements are the same as if you were to apply for each degree separately. But the nice thing about it is that you can finish the degrees, in some cases, in three years rather than four. So it's really a nice thing. And, and these programs are made such that they really fit together. Many of you will know this based probably on the undergraduate work, that social work is one of those fields, those professional fields, where you touch on a lot of other fields, public health, um, psychology, things like that, and perhaps even law, you know, in terms of Medicare, Medicaid, and there's all these policies and laws that tie into that. So it's really kind of a nice fit to do this if you're thinking about perhaps uh, not working as a clinical counselor at one of the social service agencies, but perhaps looking a little bit outside of the box. I mean, sort of moving ahead and further down into the future and things you know, get more creative and creative and all that. So there's lots of opportunities for you to expand. So we have three formal degrees. The first one is for the School of Public Health. It's a Master's of Social Work and a Master's of Public Health. Um, that specific degree has two concentrations in the School of Public Health. If you're more interested in what I refer to as micro work to the clinical direct counseling services, you will go to the Department of Health Promotion, Behavior, and Education in the School of Public Health. And the course work there is sort of geared towards that. If you're more macro thinking, um, if you're more thinking about policy and perhaps administration and working with organizations and communities rather than with individuals and families, then you will go to the Department of Health Services uh, uh, health Services Management, H H S it, it changed their name. I still know it as, as HADA, which is Health Administration. Health Services Policy and Policy Management is what it is. So it ties into policy. And that's the dual degree that I have. Um, so you have this option between micro and macro. And that particular dual degree allows you to finish both degrees in about three years. So there's a lot of courses. Oh, there's a good number of courses that cross list. Um, your first year will be social work, your second year will be public health, and then your third year will finish up. We'll, we'll do a residency or a field placement in both programs, um, but they're very they time nicely together. It's a good fit. The second one um, that we offer in the College of Social Work is a Master's of Social Work, and then we work with um, the Department of Public Administration, just with those administration. So it's much more geared towards policy and organizational issues. And that degree will also be able to finish in about three years. I can tell you that, or maybe I should tell you for the um, MSW MPH as well, that degree altogether has 87 hours. So 
you're able to do your social work hours and then you have the counseling hours. Now for the MPA, the MSW and the MPA, that degree is MP 39 hours and then you social work hours. So you can see how you're going to cut down on the hours a little bit. You basically, those courses and classes are your language. A lot of those you can use or play And of course, we'll work with you. I'll, I'll give you your know, contact or your liaison in the, school, in the college of social work and then whoever is the liaison in that specific department or college um, or school, whether it's public health or public administration or law, we work with you there. But you basically have us to help you guide you along and, and to help you select your courses. Right? The third one is then, as I alluded to, the Masters of Social Work and the Law there you will do 60 hours um, in social work and 90 hours in law. And um, what you'll end up doing is start off the social work process. You actually required to do some of the electives for the law degree in the College of Social Work and vice versa. So some of the electives in social work will cover the law and then some of the electives in law will cover the social work. But you still work towards that content. I know that's sort of a quick rundown. You can always go online and go to the College of Social Work website, the specific website for the College of Social Work. There'll be a link to the you know, talk about the dual degrees and get some more information there for you. Actually, for the Masters of Social Work and Masters of Public Health, we have the courses listed. For the other ones, we don't yet, but if you get in touch with me, I can tell you what we're looking at. Um, does anybody have any questions? I know this is a lot of information in like five minutes or shorter. Mm -hmm. And you probably not to be clear that you can see that before. Let me tell you my email address real quick. You might want to chop that down. It's just my last name, which is spelled L E I T H. And then at xc.edu. And please feel free to email me. I will get back in touch with you. You know our orientation is. So the beginning of the semester is always a busy time. So if I don't get back with you within five seconds, then don't hold it against me. But I'll be back in 40 hours or so. So if you don't have any immediate questions, then please do come on here. If you do have questions, I'll let everybody go. And then I'll let everybody go here. And if not, then I'll talk to some people in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.